Shut up and sit down. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Jack's uh, Guns and Equipment here. Uh, my name's Brad. Uh, in our earlier videos, I showed you a parts listing for my uh, 6.5 Grendel lower, and then I showed you the lower together. Um, and that's been a few weeks ago, and I'm sorry for the delay, but... Um, this has actually been together for about a week, week and a half now, and I just haven't got around to making a video. This is my uh, 6.5 Grendel upper, and I'll go over the parts that were involved in putting it together. Um, this was a budget build, as I mentioned in earlier videos, and I continued budget on the upper, uh, but I haven't got to shoot it yet. That's coming soon. But I, I'm pretty happy with the turnout of the build so far without firing it. So we'll see after I shoot it. Hopefully everything works out good. But um, I went with an AIM Sports upper that already had the dust cover and the forward assist already in it. And once again, it was a budget build. So I went with that because it was affordable and it was mil spec. And honestly, like I talked about with the Anderson lower, um, mil spec is supposed to be mil spec. So... Uh, it really shouldn't matter who made the upper. If it's mil spec, it should work the same as any other mil spec upper. So um, that was the upper receiver. And it came with a charging handle. And um, with the barrel, I went with a 20 inch uh, because it's a Grendel. Uh, I went with a 20 inch and I went with the Bear Creek Arsenal's um, black nitride um, heavy barrel. And I went with the 20 inch because the Grendel gets better ballistics with longer barrels, but I didn't want to go 24 because I thought that would be too long. So I went with the 20 inch. Um, for the, uh, for the uh, handguard, I went with a FDE uh, cheap uh, handguard off of eBay. Uh, but honestly, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. It came with the barrel nut and, and bolts on in three spots. And it seems to be pretty solid. I mean, I don't have any complaints with it so far. So, so far, so good. Uh, as far as gas block, it did not go with an adjustable, which I may regret. But for now, I went with just a normal normal gas block, gas tube. It's rifle length, um, which is also recommended on the Grendels with the, with the way the powder burns and whatnot. The rifle length was the recommended length to go with. Um, went with this um, pretty affordable... Uh, scope mount and the Simmons 8 point uh, rifle scope 4x12 uh, like I said I have not shot it yet I have not even bore sighted or anything so not sure about performance yet but this scope was only $48 shipped from Optics Planet uh, so hopefully uh, that works out I wanted something a little bigger than a 3x9 or anything because like I said before I intend on uh, whitetail hunting and Hopefully, maybe getting a chance to take some coyotes or something like that with this gun. Um, it is built for for hunting. It's not built for any other reason. My, my 223 Wild uh, was built as a fun gun. This is built to actually go out and hunt with. So, but anyway, so 4x12, uh, 8 point Simmons. And then uh, for the muzzle device, I went with Midway USA. And I went with a flash hider, not a compensator. Um, and I went with an AR stoner and it's the, uh, it's the 308 version because of the, the pitch on the barrel. I had to, uh, had to go with something that would fit a 308 barrel. Um, uh, can't remember the threading, but yeah, it's the 308 barrel threading is what I had to use on that. And then last but not least, um, I, I went with a black nitride bca barrel bear creek arsenal uh, bolt and it's type 2 and so is the uh so is the barrel obviously type 2 and i got it on sale for 59.99 which was also very good because my um my 223 it has a nickel bore on i think i paid 110 for so anyway so the whole upper um, 
was pretty affordable, but it feels pretty solid. So I'm gonna pause you for just a second. Okay, I'm back guys. I paused you just for a second there. Wanted to put the whole gun together. So now we got the whole, the whole rifle, the lower and uppers now completely together and we got our entire gun. Um, so that is my 6.5 Grendel and I'm gonna move the camera for you here just a second. Um, this, uh, this entire gun minus ammunition, which I've only found one box locally. I'm probably going to have to order it. Uh, 10 round clip and scope and rings and everything. This gun come to about 720 bucks. So I thought that was pretty good for a build that it's not dirt cheap, but it's pretty affordable. And I got a few things I wanted, like the 20 inch barrel, the four by 12 scope. Um, I got a, a decent trigger. It's nothing special, but it was better than your your base mil spec trigger. Uh, I love the uh, I love the the stock, even though it's a cheaper stock. I, I really I really like the way it's made and the way it feels. So all in all, for uh, 720 bucks, I think this was a pretty nice build. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe. I know this channel has been kind of slow so far, but I really do intend on putting a lot more content up. And I, can, I have more reason to do that if I have people checking it out. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you.